Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Cumulate your distribution function, CDF. Let us revise that in our previous lecture, we have solved a problem to find the cumulative distribution function of a random variable x, which is defined by this formula. Here, f of xi represents probabilities of different values for a random variable. To find f of a, we just add all probabilities up to the point a. In case of a continuous random variable x, when the density function f of x is given in a question, the cumulative distribution function f of a is defined by this formula. And we can see to find f of a, we integrate the given density function from minus infinity to the point A. These are some properties which we have to memorize. Probability of the random variable x between A and B can be obtained by this formula. F of x and the limits A and B will be given in the question f of x is a density function. To find probability of x less than or equal to a, we have to integrate the density function from minus infinity to a. To find probability of x greater than a, this is equal to one minus probability of x less than or equal to a probability of x less than or equal to a can be obtained by the formula in property number two. Property number four is to find the probability of a random variable x between a and b, this is equal to f of b minus f of a. So if we find the probability by using property number four or property number one, we shall get the same solution. Let us solve this example. Let x be a random variable with the density function f of x is equal to 2x when x is between 0 and 1 and 0 otherwise. Then find probability of x between 0 and 1 over 2. Find the cumulative distribution function f of x and then use this f of x to find again the probability of x between 0 and 1 over 2. Let us see the solution. To find probability of x between a and b, we know by property number 1 that it is integration from a to b f of x dx. Now here a is 0 and b is 1 over 2. So just using the values and between 0 and 1 over 2, the value of the function is 2x. So we need just to integrate this. When we integrate 2x, we get 2x squared by 2. 2 will cancel with 2 and we get x squared limits are from 0 to 1 over 2. Now substituting the upper limit and then minus the lower limit, we get that the solution is one over four. In part number two, we know to find the CDF f of x. This is equal to integration from minus infinity to this point x, f of x dx. Now, from minus infinity to zero, the value of the function is zero. And from zero to x, where x is between zero to one, the value of the function is two x dx. So we just substitute the value of the function here and then integrate it. After integration, we get x squared. The limits are from zero to x, substituting the upper limit and then the lower limit, we get that f of x is x squared. Here x is between 0 and 1. To find the solution of part number 3 by using part number 2, we know 
that probability of x between a and b is equal to f of b minus f of a. Here again, a is zero and b is one over two. So we need to find f of one over two minus f of zero. f of x is given here. Just substitute x by one over two. So we get one over two square. So f of one over two is equal to one over two square minus f of zero. Now substitute zero on both sides. We get zero square. Just simplifying, we get that the solution is one over four. We can see that the solution obtained by part number one and part number three is same. That's all.